guys today in this video we have this uh, gps module skg13bl which is from a uh, skylab private limited this manufacturer made this uh, gps module in this video i will gonna showing you how you can interface with this arduino uno or nano something like that so here i am using arduino nano so i have some of the jumper wires here to just make a connection between them before that we will study about so what is a gps module a gps is a basically global processing system which in this gps receiver module it is even it can use it to transmit but even it have transmitter and receiver but we will receive the gps data to our controller so that we can read it on a specific computer or any like by using an Arduino microcontroller, we can read the data from which is generated by using this GPS. So how this GPS exactly works? So its exact procedure will be like a three arbitrary satellites which will, which will be in contact in line of sight with this GPS module, which means in short, I would like to say that if is GPS module is connected or having a straight line between three of the satellites, then it works. We need this module to receive GPS data. So after what it will does it, it will generate a pseudo random code, which means uh, by using this code, it is also called as NMEA protocol. By using this protocol, the transmission of the data will work. So this is a basically a Skylab product and this module is available on online and you will get something like a antenna like this. And this is uh, having a coaxial cable of up to around one meter, I think, but not sure yet. I haven't measured this one. So this is also called as magnetic antenna. You can see right here, this will be head up to the straight. So if you are doing any project regarding this, make sure that you use this antenna for better signal reception. So after we will come into the how you can interface. So basically you have this module in this module you can see right here there will be a ground and 3.3 volt pin you can see right here ground and 3.3 volt pin and another there are three pins right here which are called as TTL uh, basically TTL refers for transistor transistor logic but if you open the data sheet of this particular module you will get to know that what are all the connection for simplicity purpose i will show how you can exactly read what pins refer to which so in three pins two pins are receiver and transmitter there will be two pins which two pins you need to identify simply just turn it back and you can see right here yes, there are connection in between like that so here there will be a transaction here you can see right here there is a straight line coming out to this which means this this is called as so i will say, so this is a transmitter pin and another one is receiver you just keep on seeing the receiver and here it is connected to the second one pin so by this we can state that so we can state this this is the receiver and this is the transmitter so this we need to connect it to an arduino so i am i am showing a circuit diagram right now you can see this circuit diagram just I am connecting it to the pin number 3 and 4 of the receiver and transmitter. I am connecting this receiver pin. Receiver pin to the Arduino pin number. I am connecting it to pin number 3. And here we have one more pin I am taking. This one will be transmitter and it is connecting to the pin number 4 of this Arduino Nano just I have just connected and after here there will be another two pins like uh, ground and VCC okay and this is the ground volt and this is the VCC so main thing you need to remember is here there is a switch between you can see right here this is called as a switch which indicated 3.3 volt and 12 volt make sure that you place this switch to 3.3 volt and it will work even with 12 volt but better in arduino there will be 3.3 volt output just connect it to it so which means just connect this red as a positive to 3.3 volt yeah here it is 3.3 volt and another ground is you just need to connect it to ground so the first stage is over and next i will do what are all the software things you need to do so after just connect it to pc and you it's an optional thing for just for interfacing you need to it will be like a coaxial cable you can see right here and just you need to connect like this 
so this is the complete circuit so indoor it won't work fine because if you place this magnetic antenna outside the house then there will be a better reception and better change in the gps value so this is the circuit part is over next you need to connect and i will go show you in the laptop so guys after connecting usb cable to your laptop or computer Please make sure that it's connected to some of the ports otherwise you just go and click on this and make sure you have selected your board and processor uh, correct step. After this you need to download these two libraries. Make sure that these are all the two libraries as uh, software serial and tiny gps. I am giving link in the description you just click on that and you can download. So after this what you have to need is you have to just go into the tools. Go into the tools. You need to go for sketch. In that sketch, include library and add zip library. After downloading that zip library, you just go and hit this and you just add these two libraries and it will be saved in your app data for local. After that, what you have to do is you have to click on file. In that file, you click on examples. After you will get something like this tiny gps 13 in that you just select this simple test so after selecting simple test you will get a menu something like this this is a simple test and you just need to upload it this program make sure that your gps module will be blinking and the status indicator will be little bit blinking and power will be turned on so it will take some seconds after it will get uploaded Now the program got uploaded, click on this serial monitor. If you are seeing this, which means that your GPS module working fine and your GPS module is correct. Next you can configure this GPS module as per your project. So if you want to make uh, some other little bit complicated test like a static test. And thank you for watching guys. If it is helpful, please give me a thumbs like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.